One of the first things that you want to do in using Photoshop is obviously to become familiar with the environment. And there are there is a lot of functionality when it comes to Photoshop. And so one of the ways you can access the functionality or the tools of this application is through the menu bar. And so you want to become first familiar with the menu bar. And if you go up to the top and just click on File, for example, and you have the drop-down menu, you're going to see that from there you can create a new document. You can open an existing document. You can browse for an image, for example. That's one of the things that you can do. Uh, coming down here, you can see some of these things are grayed out because they're not available at, since nothing is open at this point. Uh, you can import different images. You can, you can actually do different uh, functions that, are, that will actually automate uh, different functions within Photoshop. We're not going to cover that in this course. Uh, you have, under the edit menu, you can do different things there as well. As far as undoing an image, you can cut, you can copy, you can paste, you can clear, you can fill, you can uh, create a stroke within an image. Uh, under image, you can, from there, you can create a color mode, do color adjustments, uh, you can duplicate, you can, again, adjust your a, an image size or a canvas size within Photoshop. And under the layers menu bar, or under the drop down rather, you have a lot of, again, a lot of different functionalities. And we're going to cover these more as we go through the course. You can select images. Uh, you have the filter drop down menu where you have a lot of, of uh, artistic effects that you can, you can apply to an image in Photoshop. And, and again, Photoshop has a lot of functionality. We're not going to be covering all that in this course, but we're going to be covering the basics. Uh, of what you can do uh, to really to, to be on the fast track to using Photoshop. Uh, you can analyze different things. You can uh, sample uh, areas within, a, with, within um, a document. You can use a rule tool. You have a count tool. Uh, you can also view. You can zoom in, zoom out. And so with Photoshop, you really need to start at the menu bar and click on each word and then look at the drop-down menu and see what are the different things that I can do within Photoshop? And within the Windows drop-down menu, you have a lot of things. You have action. You can do animation if you need to. We're not going to cover that in this course. Uh, you can look at the brushes and channels. You can bring up different, uh, different, uh, different uh, palettes, like the character palette. And so under the Windows drop-down, there is a place where you can actually access a lot of the palettes uh, within Photoshop. For example, if I click on Paragraph, it's going to bring up the Paragraph uh, uh, dialog box. I can also click on the uh, history and that will bring up what we call a history uh, dialog box. And then of course you always have the help. If you need to have a little bit more help in figuring uh, something uh, of a specific nature in Photoshop, then simply click on the help uh, drop down menu and click in search and that will uh, aid you in uh, answering your question. And so, in a nutshell, this is the Photoshop menu bar. You want to spend a little bit of time investigating that, and we're going to be covering a lot of some of those functionality as we go through the course. But this is the, the Photoshop menu bar, and so we're going to now move on to the next lecture and learn some more about Photoshop.